Oh, the horrible gray. I can't handle this. I'm so scared. I can't do the boss with you guys. I need to do it alone. Aw, isn't that special? Every single pixel used for a ending background paper. Yes, yeah, so... I, I, I kind of beat the final boss without you guys. I, I didn't think you'd mind, though. You know, nothing too big. But we got the baseball patch. Dreamline music, strap cast music. So much stuff. We completed cast. We completed flicks. New items are on sale. Everything's going on right now. Um, still more to Super Mario Galaxy, which I can reference because oh no, I, got, I pressed the race file. Um, because it is the main walkthrough. Um, I did the final boss like somewhere in the middle of it, and then I did it again at the end. Not only because that's what was required of the game, but because you know I had to have a real finale. Well, even though it's not required, I'm doing the same for this game. I already beat the boss. Beated the boss. Yes, I've beaten the boss. Well, I can sit on the clouds. It's actually wow. I didn't know that. Anyways, there is still this the circly stuff around the yard. But I did beat the boss. Don't worry. In the finale of this walkthrough, I will beat the boss again. Except this time with feeling. So we're gonna throw the baseball patch. Which, I don't know if this is a joke or not, but we kind of beat <laughs> Yin Yarn, so maybe that's why we get a baseball patch. Anyways, this Vital D is going to break the watermelon clearly in half with a baseball. With a baseball bat. Don't try that at home. You'd probably just, like, get watermelon all over your house. <gasps> Whoa, I was hitting behind the clouds. That was cool. Woo! Anyways, Meta Melon Isle. These next two levels in the game, um, I guess the game designers didn't think you'd play them. They are really cool, though, so it's kind of their, their last hurrah, our, our victory lap. But, as you might be able to guess from the title, it is just going to be a montage of transformations. Yes, in one of the last levels, we are going to revisit all our transformations, well, not all of them, but a lot of our transformations for one final game of sorts. And I do believe... There are some uh, neighbor challenges in one of these, so keep that in mind. But despite all this this fun time, um, this level, if I remember, is actually pretty hard, especially certain parts of it. Oh wow, we finally get the. Uh, we only got this, I believe, in Hotland, not really one of our more famous transformations. Anyways, here, of course, kill this guy to get. A special thing actually just beads and you can shoot the floor ah, to make it not on lava but it'll bubble like that when it's it's time to become lava again and as always you can hit beads like so and they'll come down from the heavens ah, die and we get the palm chair from that the coconut on this chair is actually a very comfortable cushion for your head oh I'm sure ah, jump it I love just how this guy looks, and by this guy I mean Kirby, when he's jumping in the uh, fire truck, he's like, ugh, make it, wheels. Yeah, anyways, we're done with that, and now into the ocean, where it's kind of like a little montage of all the level themes, I guess. Ah, Gordos. Let's hope not to die. And the music is pretty cool, like, I would think that, ah, no. I would think that they would change the music up for each little the transformation that we got, but not the case. It still sounds very, very islandy. Die! I'm a dolphin. I destroy sharks. Uh, woo! Okay, unfortunately, no uh, basketball games in this one. Uh, no! <laughs> no! Do I have to do this? Uh, if you watched earlier episodes of this walkthrough, I hate the train power-up. Not only is it boring and all that stuff, but my Wii Pointer isn't 
perfectly functional for whatever reason, so I have to, uh, to live with what I have. Look at that, already failing. Anyways, as always, there are a bunch of beads here, and I know I could probably get them. But I'm not gonna do that. I don't enjoy driving myself crazy. Regularly. And once in a while, it's a nice pastime. What am I even saying? Anyways, um, that will get you this little constellation of salts. I guess we're in we're in space right now. We are the space train. Mwahaha. And we have these passengers as always. Well, not as always, but as per usual. And actually, I'll get this this little star. If you just sit around and press B rapidly, you'll kind of stay in the same spot. Oh, I guess I wasn't pointing. And then we can do awesome upside down train physics. Yeah. Whoa! Okay, enough upside down train physics. We're gonna get this treasure finally. The ice cream. That does not look like ice cream at all. This is an ice cream sculpture from another tropical paradise I have yet to visit. Who is I? Is this the narrator saying this? Should I have been saying all this in the narrator voice the whole time? I don't think so. There cannot be any first person in these. Oh no. Get on the train tracks. I'm a derailed train. Beware. Anyways, I'm not gonna get this, I'm just gonna- Oh no, my passenger! I mixed train and passenger to say trashinger. But, uh, each of these train- Oh no! Get the beads, Kirby! There we go. So I think we're doing pretty good on beads. Um, I don't need to get all of them, obviously, because- Ouch, <laughs> I find myself insane. This is actually, I guess, better than the, uh, Sweetland train track levels, because it actually- makes sense and isn't way too long and complicated so this isn't too bad still oh come on did i just like hit that corner at the very end not cool okay i'm gonna make this extra high there we go that should do it good okay three stars finally now we can move on to something fun hopefully me hating the uh train power up doesn't make you hate it although you should hate it because it's terrible <laughs> well, I'm contradicting myself all over the place anyways much like the later levels in the game we do have this uh power up within a power up the uh floating in the air thing oh yes I got it and we have rainbows I actually thought of this in another level like if you remember back to Snowland, I was like oh I have to do this level 20 times because I thought I missed something well, I didn't miss something, I was just, like, paranoid slash crazy. And I thought I missed something, but I didn't. And now we had the Ice Cream Island. This classic team was in Kirby's Dreamland. Now you can hear it in this level. And with that, we've completed level, um, I'm not sure if I missed a lot of beads, because it seems like I did. Usually I get more beads than that, but... We got a gold medal nonetheless, all the treasures, everything you can think of, and hopefully... Yes, five stars. Okay, good. I always say, oh, it's five stars, and then always it just goes really slowly past that little notch into the three-star range where you cannot escape. So as you can, as you saw when we beat the boss, the final boss, it says we have new things that we can buy. And don't worry, for all you commenters out there, I will buy everything in the game, even though I'm not going to really use it, because as I said before, Who's really going to use all these patches in their house? You can only use so many, and even then, some people might not even decorate their house. They might be like, ugh, house decoration is lame, I can't play Kirby. Yes, for all those die-hard Kirby fans out there. Anyways, we're going to throw the Galaxia Sword. Which, for some Kirby lore, is Meta Knight's sword. Sword, and true to the Meta Knight fashion, the halberd comes in from the whatever it came from and explodes or something <laughs> and it's actually level so the final level in the game it's probably not a good idea to fly your your airship on top of a tree but he's been at night you can do what he wants so we're gonna tackle this battleship halberd Ready, go! So, much like I said in Spaceland, in one of these one of these videos, um, 
I mean, because of Kirby, we sure love, you know, shooting games and stuff like that. So we have our, our star shooter once again. Very fitting. Uh, overwhelmed, and we're gonna... This is basically just a shooting level. You know, the last level was just a metamorphation level. <laughs> and now we are a shooter, Kirby. And it's actually pretty hard, especially in a... Ah, uh, which way do I go up or down? Okay. Especially in one of the, um... Ah, uh, Beatrix levels, because we have to get so many beads. I think this is actually the last Beatrix level, which means it's the hardest one. And it actually took me a while to beat the first time I played this game. It was actually pretty hard. But enough about Beatrix. This is Kirby. Well, Beatrix is still Kirby, but... Um, if you get close to things, which is generally dangerous, because you don't even try to get a good streak on this level. Just saying. Which is generally dangerous, because you might get hit, you will have more firepower. The Galaxia Sword. Keeping this sword around will make you dashing and decorative. Yes, dashing Meta Knight. I can see it now. Oh, die. Okay, I should kill these guys too because they have beads for me. But a number of these actually have um, prizes. The ones we're seeing right now just have just have cannonballs for us. And this is actually, uh, if you would call it that, a mini boss. What I like to do uh, is when one of the other ones is firing. Hey, UFO! You can't help your brother out. I'll just chill down here and shoot this guy, because it's actually the only thing you need to kill. For maximum damage. Wait, am I even- Oh wait, I'm not hurting it. Never mind. Wow, I'm wrong. Okay, so when you get- Sorry, you wanna get close to the top. I don't know why I hit the bottom. Well, it's, it's a justifiable mistake. Anyways, now we're going into the ship itself. And we're getting pushed down by the camera. With this awesome Meta Knight's music. And it's generally a good idea. Ah, UFOs. I hate UFOs. Uh, it's generally a good idea to stay towards the front in all of these because if you lose beads, you can still get them back since this scrolls from left to right. Oh, I actually didn't get hit there. These UFOs, they're so annoying. I always get surprised when I don't get hit by them like that. Oh, die it. Please. There we go. Good enough. Oh. Matrix Kirby. Okay, I think all the big ones have treasures. Oh, look at that. A cool little paused explosion. Night Helmet putting this mask on gives one a sense of mystery. And a sense of sitting in the dark. Why sitting in the dark? Is that a reference to Meta Knight? <laughs> no. It can't possibly be. Anyways, we're, we are breaching the inner hole or whatever you want to call whatever Kirby is doing right now. Ah, where there's apparently lots of fire. And if we go back here and then quickly... Oh no, well I failed. But there's a star up there if you quickly go back without getting hit by fire. I don't actually think we can get it now. And there's so many of these annoying, like, suicide bombers. Jeez. Anyways, this is actually a pretty long level. But the music makes up for it. I don't know how... The music makes up for it, but it does. Oh, die cannons. All of you. Death to all. Ah. Yeah, don't even try to get a good streak. Oh, gosh. Okay, get that. I missed some beads. That's okay. Halberd. This last team was encouraging when I can hear it on the battleship Halberd. Okay, we're almost out of gold medal. I know I lost some beads here and there, but... I've been pretty good so far. Anyways... Here you can kill the uh ah, the fire cannons, but it's really not necessary. You just have to move around so that you can dodge them, and then go for the kill, 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 kill. Ah, oh. die UFO! I hate UFOs. The only bad thing is you can't shoot when they're firing at you with fire, because apparently blasts cannot go through fire. It might actually be a good idea to kill the blasters. Just to make everything easier on you. But this is Kirby. We don't need ease. Anyways, that's the end of the level. Um, I actually didn't get gold, which was surprising. But I got everything else. And so, hopefully, with our five stars, we will end it off. The last level of... Oh! See, look, just barely. <laughs> Anyways, the last level of Kirby's Epic Yarn in the game. Besides the uh, boss fight that I'll show in the finale. So, there you have it. We've completed Dreamland and every level. So we're probably going to get a uh, 
little achievement here from Mr. Uh, whatever his name was, the apartment guy. Yeah, we completed tunes because we got all the treasures and the medals. And that's all. So, this has been it. Next time, we are uh, going to do all the tent levels that we have left. Then we're going to buy all the fabrics and decorate my room. My... Whatever you want to call it. I was thinking of a cool name for room, but nothing came to me. My, my, my pad. There we go. Gonna decorate my pad. Kirby's pad. And then we're going to call it a walkthrough with the swirling boss of Yin Yon. So, until next time, are the Kirby shooters more epic than Kirby's yarn? Final next time. See you guys then.